Good morning YouTube. It's quite a nice morning, the roads are dry, a little bit chilly but that doesn't matter. Right, I've been tagged in these uh, 10 questions which I've seen a few people I subscribe to do it um, and I wasn't really sure where it came from and then Calm Biker tagged me in it so uh, I thought right, I best, uh, I best answer these questions and uh, I had a look into where it all originated and uh, it's from a channel called One Boy, One Girl, One Bike. And the idea is it's 10 questions and then you tag some other people to uh, also answer the questions. So let's do it. I know what you're thinking. Did he fire six shots or only five? I'll tell you the truth in all this excitement, I've kind of lost track myself. You've got to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? When I very first started, it was, around, it was late 2002. In fact, yeah, December 2002, pretty sure. Uh, I did my CBT and I bought myself, from new, a Suzuki AY50 in Telefonica Movie Star livery. Which is a pretty nice looking moped, scooter, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I was riding that for the best part of two years before taking my driving test. Or if you want to go off proper geared motorbikes, then I first started back in 2008 when I took my full bike test. Now, originally, for when I got my scooter, um, a number of factors really. One, I think I'd worked out it was cheaper to do a CBT and get a moped. Um, because the cost of car insurance was ridiculous for uh, new new drivers. Uh, also, my mate worked at the local bike dealership, so he kind of also, he, he was around to d discuss, really, and uh, he ended up giving me a bit of a bargain on the scooter. So, uh, yeah, it was kind of, that was kind of uh, one of the main reasons. And after that scooter, I'd, I'd been on that for two years, like I said, uh, and then I took my driving test and I've been driving for the following years, uh, up until 2008, uh, where I'd started working for a computer company uh, that dealt with a, a software package aimed at uh, places like bike dealerships, and transportation companies, things like that. So I was doing a lot of site visits to motorbike dealerships and being around bikes then, uh, sort of brought a bit of the old scooter riding back to me and I thought yeah I I'd like to do my full test and get myself a, a proper bike so I did originally it was the uh, Suzuki AY50 but talking about proper geared motorbikes my first one was a Suzuki GS500 So Suzuki AY50, Suzuki GS500, and then I swapped that for my first Kawasaki GPZ500. Uh, and then after I'd sold that, I'd moved down here to the south coast, and I then had a ER5, which got written off, which we'll talk about in a minute. And then I had this, my second GPZ500, which, as of yesterday, is three years old to me. Doesn't seem that long ago. What is your dream bike? I hate this question when it comes up in the Q&As because I don't know, but at the minute, I think I can answer that one. I think I would really fancy myself the new Triumph Street Twin. That is a lovely looking bike and it, I'm sure it is a, a good ride. So currently, that, that, that's what I'd have if I could. Well, I'd say street, um, that, that's what I do all the time however I would love I would love to do some off-road even though I will probably hurt myself a lot <laughs> it's funny that question comes up right at this point uh, if you don't include the times I uh, drop my bike in a silly way or 
lost my front brake caliper, which this is where it happened. I didn't come off, but it was bloody close. I don't know how I stayed on for that. Um, I've only had one accident which uh, involved another, another vehicle. Which in fact was the direct cause of me getting a camera in the end. And that is what written off that ER5 I mentioned earlier. Without going into too much detail on that, um, it was an unmarked crossroads in a residential housing estate. Nobody has right away. Um, it's, it was a crossroad with a, with a speed bump over it. So really you're supposed to take it slow over there. Which I, I was doing, I, I felt I was uh, doing a suitable speed for the conditions. Um, as I was getting coming on over it, I've said look before could, nothing was coming. As I got onto the crossroads, literally about to cross over, a Audi comes steaming across from the right. Uh, I see it coming, so I slam the brakes on. Uh, but it just wasn't enough, and my front wheel clipped the back passenger side door of the Audi as they went past, and it just spun the bike out, sent me flying, uh, and into the middle of the road. I wasn't hurt, bike was a write-off, uh, the woman was, well, <laughs> I have gone into this on a, a previous video about all that, but uh, yeah, she uh, was certainly more in the wrong than I was, that's for sure. Unfortunately, the court didn't see it that way. Well, after that accident and that whole scenario, I thought, I'm getting a helmet camera, because if that happens again, I want it on camera, so there's no, there's no question of who was in the right and wrong and all that lot. So I've got a helmet camera. I've been uh, seeing videos on YouTube from the likes of Baron Von Grumble, Premises, that, them sort of people, and uh, thought, okay, I'll, I'll get a microphone and I'll give it a go myself. Not really expecting it to go anywhere or take off or anything. Started talking to myself like everyone does, and um, here we are now. I, I'd say it's the best thing to happen to me in my biking career. It's certainly open my eyes to all sorts of stuff meeting so many amazing people just through um, just because of YouTube and motor vlogging it's awesome there is too many to list I have about ooh, 500 possibly more subscriptions mostly motor vlog channels I obviously don't watch all of them. I haven't got enough time in the day to watch everybody's, unfortunately. In fact, I'll put it up on the screen now. At the time of editing, this is how many channels I subscribe to on YouTube. <laughs> See, I, w I won't name people because it's probably not fair because uh, I'll name somebody and then someone else will get upset. <laughs> now, I'm sure that won't be the case, but anyway, that's that. Yes, it does, but I don't really say it on the channel much um, because it does share its name with another motor vlogger's bike, which I'd already named this before I'd even started watching 2B1 on Roadie. Uh, yeah, my bike is called Raven. So there we go, that's all the questions done. I hope that was good enough for you to watch. Uh, all that's left now is for me to tag some people who also uh, can answer these questions if they want to. So, I'm going to tag Captain Rambunctious. Sorry, <laughs> I know you're a very busy man. Um, Bimble Boy Blue and Lammy Isle of Wight. So, it'll be good to see if you can uh, get the responses to them questions in, if you can. Uh, oh, also, if anyone else fancies doing it, uh, then just, just consider yourself tagged. I'll do what uh, Infamous Biker did. He just said, anyone who wants to do it, just just do it. Consider yourself tagged by me. So, uh, there you go. Have fun with that. Thank you all for watching, everyone. Ride safe, and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye. Quickly going over the stickers, then. Uh, I'll put the Think Bike, Think Bike one on top. Uh, we've got Captain Rambunch, just a new one up there, which I got uh, with, uh, which got Pet Cat Harley with my uh, new stickers. Uh, and MCM one there from somewhere. I can't remember where that came from. I found loads of random.